Hi, I'm Rebecca Fletcher and I'm a manufacturing engineer too with H&I Corporation. H&I is a leading global provider of office furniture solutions and hearth products or fireplaces. We are based out of Muscatine, Iowa, and we have been in business for over 75 years. We have nearly 4,000 employees in Iowa, and we believe in offering work that matters and career growth without limits. I started full-time with H&I Corporation in January of 2018, but prior to starting full-time, I actually had two internships with the company, both in Muscatine, Iowa. They were manufacturing-based, and I was able to do projects that added a lot of value back to the company, but also helped me in my career development. After those two internships, I had the opportunity to interview for a full-time position in our Early Career Development Program, which is a rotational program that is a year long and gives you rotations or experience in roles such as manufacturing, product development, supply chain quality, and usually an elective of your choosing. After I finished that program, I interviewed with our work surface department at our Highway 61 All Steel facility, and I have been a manufacturing engineer there for a year and a half now. An engineer can actually start their salary making over $60,000 a year. My role as an ME2 requires two years of experience, whether that is with H&I Corporation or an outside uh, company, and then it also requires a bachelor's degree in engineering or an industrial technology field. As a manufacturing engineer too, I work day to day to help support our production. So I'm working on setting up our factory to hit success and to hit those daily metrics. I have a lot of projects that I work on, whether that is looking at quality, manufacturability of our products, making things easier for our members on our manufacturing lines. All these projects are going to help us hit those metrics and allow for success for our factory and for our company. A lot of times I use our RIG method, which stands for run, improve, grow. And essentially run means what do you need to do day to day to run your business and make sure things are getting out the door, that we're hitting our metrics, that we are successfully having good quality. What do we need to do to run our business? Then improve. What can we implement? What can we do? What projects can be done to actually improve our business, improve our company? And then the last part is grow. So how do you run? How do you improve? How do you grow our company? How do you spend time to make sure that we're growing and we are succeeding and hitting our goals that we set? So day-to-day -day breakdown, I would say that I spend about 20% of my time on the run, 45% on the improve, and about 35% on the grow. So most of my time is spent on finding new ways to develop solutions or to make things better. I work in our work service factory at our all steel manufacturing plant, like I mentioned a little bit previously. And I have in my team, my factory manager, who is my boss. I have two other engineers an engineer tech programmers and also group leaders. Together we work day to day to make sure we are hitting our goals. We are getting things out the door. We are making things successful. I work a lot with them on projects and also make sure that things are aligning with what we want to do as a company. I will say that I consider my team a second family. They definitely want me to succeed as much as I want the company and my projects to succeed. And we all help each other, whether that is helping each other improve our strengths more or also helping each other grow in our weaknesses and make them strengths. What I love most about H&I is that it's a very supportive company. They encourage movement, whether it's vertically or laterally. So you can go to supply chain, procurement, product, all within the same kind of realm of laterally, but then you can also move up in the company. Maybe you wanna grow and be a factory manager, a plant manager, whatever it is, they want to foster that growth and also foster that movement. I know my boss and I have talked a lot about where I wanna go next and he's helped me um, plan out and career path and goals for that as well. And also one thing really neat is that H&I promotes a lot of worthwhile projects. So I don't feel like I'm doing something that doesn't add value back to the company, but I also know those projects are going to add value to my career growth as well. My advice to someone who's interested in my career path is to not be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Learn more. I know when I was in my rotational program, I was not comfortable with several of the roles I was doing. And I, I learned to thrive in that, you know, get comfortable in the uncomfortable. Ask those questions, step out of your comfort zone, try new things because it will allow you to develop more as a person, but
but also allow you to see what else is out there and maybe you like something that you never thought you would. I want to say thank you for joining me today to learn more about a career in manufacturing engineering. If you are interested in a career with H&I Corporation, check us out at www.hnicorp.com.